can't even begin to express how grateful I am for what the ocean has left with me and continues to teach me. And I just know that I'll forever be a student of the ocean and I'll continue to share the ocean. I'm Zane Kikoa Schweitzer. I'm 26 years old from Maui, Hawaii, and I'm a world champion waterman, published author, and ocean advocate. Competition has always been a part of my life. I've won over 15 world championship events between the sports of surfing, stand-up paddle racing, and windsurfing. Out of all these competitions, the one I'm most proud of is the Ultimate Waterman. And that's because it's eight different ocean sports over a period of 10 days. And uh, it's just constant action and really a great opportunity to learn from a group of world-renowned watermen. And so as a competitor, I love to embrace the, the sense of being a student, always having something to walk away from and learn from. Growing up here on Maui, I'm constantly grateful for the unique opportunities that have presented themselves for me to be influenced by our amazing environment and community. I really do owe so much to my current success from my community and, and the environment. You know, I have my grandfather really to thank for, for where we are today. I mean, my grandfather invented the sport of windsurfing in the late 60s in California. My grandparents inspired me to be creative and to, to follow my heart and to not give up on dreams. My mom always inspired me to carry the Aloha spirit and to be proud of that sense of culture that we have in Hawaii here. A lot of people hear that and think it's a cliche, but I really do believe that it's one of the most special things about growing up in Hawaii. My family and the values they left with me, it wasn't all about you know, sport and, and performance and being the best we could be on the ocean. It was more so about being the best we could be as a human, you know, and being the best we could be for our community. AJ! It's really important to be mindful and to be grateful and embrace humility. It's one of the greatest lessons I've learned from my father. So in many ways, I'm just grateful and, and really proud to be following in the footsteps of my grandparents and my parents. Early on in my travels as a junior pro, my mom encouraged me being the amazing spirit of Aloha she encompasses. She would always tell me to, you know, share these sports with kids. And so a lot of the time she would send me on these trips as a young teenager with a backpack filled with clothes to give away, or maybe even give a few pieces of equipment to, to leave behind with these kids in these communities. And so, before I started my Insane Supergrams nonprofit, we hosted these events where we would just pull kids off the streets, pull kids out of the beaches, uh, collaborate with different schools and, and, and youth programs, and introduce them to ocean sport, but not only ocean sport, the importance of being a steward for the ocean and a guardian for the ocean. And so I truly do believe that ocean sport and ocean conservation can lay hand in hand and it's been a driving motivation for me in the recent years. I'd say it's near two tons, huh? Our not-for-profit, the Insane Supergroms, has been based on introducing kids to ocean sport and connecting the importance of creating a healthy, active lifestyle around our natural environment. And so we've taught over 4,000 kids around the world how to surf, windsurf, stand up paddle, and most importantly, be there for our natural environment, whether it be the oceans or our beaches. I found a bottle cap and a piece of rubber. Bottle cap and a piece of rubber? Oh, that's a great find. What's your name? 
It's been a lot of fun for me, you know, not only to share what's brought so much joy and opportunity into my life, but as well to see some of these young kids grow into their own individuals. Straight down from the start, and then once you pass the point, try and get into deeper blue water, darker blue water. Go get them. And it makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing because I've had the opportunity to stand on the shoulders of giants here in Maui and learn from these amazing mentors. And knowing that I could do the same for them is really important. You know, I look back at, at myself and think, I may have never had to be where I am today if someone didn't give me a little bit of encouragement or share their time with me. And to see these kids open up and to see these kids let go once they're riding a wave, it almost just makes you want to melt, makes you want to just scream for joy. <laughs> you know, it's really, it's amazing to see, you know, what the power of the ocean can do for, for these kids.